Hong Kong and Macau police forces have arrested four more people in relation to suspected fraudulent activities, including the cryptocurrency platform JPEX, over the past few days. They're believed to be the core members of the syndicate. Officers have also seized and frozen assets of $24 million in total. Suspects who have fled Hong Kong are being traced through international police cooperation. Sharon Tang has more. Having teamed up to investigate the JPEX scam, police in Hong Kong and police in Macau met the press at the same time today. During the operation, Hong Kong police seized a large amount of cash, luxury watches and gold bars. Officers arrested two men and searched six flats. In one unit, police found a bathtub filled with documents that had been destroyed by shredding, fire and bleach. Meanwhile, Macau's police force arrested two more men. Officers found $6.5 million worth of banknotes and tokens and froze $8.2 million from casino accounts. Hong Kong police believe the arrestees are relatively important members of the fraud network. Some suspects are believed to have fled overseas and they will be tracked through Interpol. Police added they're using all resources available as well as supercomputers to carry out the tracing work. We have now uh, nearly 2,500 victims uh, who have uh, reported to police. Taking statements from them alone uh, means a lot of workload. And uh, that's why we have to pull in all the operational bureau within the crime wing to handle the case, including the data management and fundful tracing. So far, Hong Kong police have arrested 16 people in connection with the case, including social media influencers Joseph Lam and Chan Yi. All of them are Hong Kongers and nearly $100 million of assets have now been frozen. Officers explained the challenges involved. For this case, it involved uh, thousands of e-wallets and uh, uh, tens of thousands of transactions. Because of the anonymity of uh, the cryptocurrency uh, in the cyber world, it makes it quite difficult to identify um, the criminal behind. Um, but that's why uh, we had been uh, keeping a, li a liaison with the overseas virtual assets trading platforms. Officers noted there are still people related to JPEGs who claim that the platform is appropriate for investment. Police urge residents to take extra precautions before making decisions. Sharon Tang, TVB News.